But seriously, I'm fucking hungry as shit right now. You came along. You are the answer to our dream. Oh, hello. Pearl sent word saying it's all right to tell you about the lady in the water. <sighs> I would go grab food and then come back, DJ or DJ Shoddy, but I'm actually only gonna go for like another hour anyways, so that's why I'm just gonna play and then I'm gonna eat afterwards. I'm just gonna sit here and salivate and be hungry and go eat afterwards. Anyway, Lady in the Water, what's that? A long time ago, long before the war that killed just about everything that ever lived, a bomber crashed not far from here. A bomber was a flying contraption that could drop explosives down on anything it flew over. But anyway, moving on. This bomber crashed down in Lake Mead, pretty damn near intact. When we got to Nellis, see, I found this article in a magazine all about it. There was another B-29 around here, part of a museum. Couldn't fly, but had a lot of spare parts, see? Get where I'm going? Go with that I thing, get spare parts, man. come fix our shit. I Let's go. I of raising that lady from the lake and bringing her back to life. What do you say? Let's do it. It's at the bottom of Lake Mead. I'll mark its location on your Pip Boy map. How do you expect to raise it? Simple. Attach deployable ballast to the plane and float it on up. Oh. Here is a remote detonator. Once the ballast is attached to the plane, just hit the detonator from the shore and let buoyancy handle the rest. Okay. Why didn't you do it? Maybe you don't understand. Hasn't been one of us, not a one, to set a foot outside Nellis in over 50 years. You come along with your knowledge of the outside, and it seems the time's come to raise the lady after all. All right, let's do it. Good. Here's the deployable ballast. Go find the plane, attach the ballast, and hit the button. Any ideas of how to get to the bottom without drowning? Might try holding your breath. If that doesn't sound good enough, talk to Jack. He was working on a rebreather once. That could be helpful. Is Jack right here? I need to talk to Jack. Yo, Jack. What up? Also, yeah, I know it's sad that I'm only going to go for like another hour shoddy, but I'll be back tomorrow and I'll stream for longer. Tuesday is one of my short days, right? So I just stick into that as usual. Um, but yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. I'll probably be playing this some more too because I'm not ready to start the next game yet. In fact, I might be playing this for the next week just because I want to get through it, damn it. So you're the outsider. Lived your whole life out there, huh? Wow. I always thought you savages probably spoke a different language, but I hear you sound like us. What do you do here? Me? I work with Loyal. Mostly electronics work in robotics. Keeping the old technologies alive, right? What can you tell me about Loyal? Loyal's a great man. I forgot we haven't even He's talked to this guy. Years, so a younger's got to learn everything he knows. That'd be me. The man knows how to fix and build just about everything that was ever made. It's not easy keeping up with him. Lil said you might be able to help me breathe underwater. I just need some parts from a pressure cooker to create a hermetic seal for the rebreather. From a pressure cooker? Oh. What if I just do this? That's a brilliant idea. I can put that together right now. Here you go. A new rebreather. Boom! We don't need shit! Thanks, sir. I'm out. Anything else I can what do to I help? could use is some scrap metal. It may not sound except Ugh. The other thing... You being from the outside and all, well, I guess you'd call it a personal matter, but, well, uh, forget it. Where I come from, we discuss personal matters all the time. That must be nice, sharing yourself like that, not being embarrassed or anything. Well, the thing is, there's this girl. Better not be me. Oh, that sort of personal matter. Fuck it. No, tell me better. Oh, you can't miss her. She has short red hair and oh my god the most beautiful woman it's not me right you'd really talk to her for me what if she feels the same way what if she comes here like you did what if she gets blown up what if she doesn't like me oh oh geez okay uh, I better just let you handle it I'm better with machines they don't make my stomach queasy like this yeah sure that would be amazing as in I would thank you forever does this bitch have a name? He didn't even say her name or like what she has short red hair. That's all he said. I that's not helpful. I'm gonna go work on this 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 ship thing, sir. That's what I'm gonna do. What if she gets blown up? 
I don't know. What if, dude? What the fuck if? You know? So casual. Loyal sounds like your dad. Can do everything and just watch him on the side. Like, how the hell do you come me up? Like, yeah, some people who can just fix everything. It's it's pretty impressive. And especially if it's like somebody you, that you're related to or whatever. And they're just like, man, I want to learn and be like that. Then it's like, it seems so impossible to be a Mr. Fix-It that just fixes everything, man. Lake Mead. Oh, my God. Lake Mead is very far away. I didn't know Lake Mead was way the fuck over there. Wow, that's like way further out of the way than I want to go. But I guess that's what we're doing. So who's ready to go on a butthole sniffing adventure? I wonder if I could go from this side, from Camp Golf. Let's try it. Hello? Is anybody home? Anybody at all? Hello? I'm just, don't mind me, I'm gonna head to the lake. You guys just do your thing, I'm, I'm going lakeside, later. Don't mind me. I'm here to lake. For example, he can solder pretty good, and you try repairing your controller with a solder, and your unsteady hand just perma broke your controller instead. Ah, that's unfortunate. Yeah, soldering is pretty tough. You have to have a pretty steady hand. That's, that can be pretty tough. I personally don't solder either, and that's because I... It's not that I don't have a steady hand... But I don't have, like, a precise hand, if that makes sense. So, yeah. Well, like, when it comes to things that are teeny tiny, it's just, nope. Don't expect me to be very, very accurate and precise. A precise hand that's going in the meme collection. Well then, meme it up, meme it up. My homie's still following me, right? Whoa, wait, wait, whoa, whoa. What happened to the homie? Hello? What happened to the homie? Anyway, we're at the fisherman's pride shack. What happened to the homie? Okay, well, he loaded in here with me. I don't know where the hell he was at outside. They got BB gun here. Which ain't worth shit. There is some Sunset Sarsaparilla here. I take that. I take that. I don't really want any of your shit. Don't really need to sleep. I should make another save. Is the radio playing or something? I'm just gonna get the fuck out of here. Alright, so... I'm gonna keep heading along the shore until we're closer. I, I'm thinking we gotta go out to there. You dig the dark colors in the room? You talking about my room, shoddy? Damn! Okay! Oh, shit. The creatures from the Black Lagoon are coming right at us, dog. Well, I'm glad you dig it. I mean, it's mostly... My bed has gray sheets that are not too unlike what I'm wearing right now. And I have a... I have a cheetah print blanket, if you can kind of see that. And then, and then on this side of me, you can see that gr there's like a green arm rest pillow type thing. One of those, like, back pillow things you can, like, sit against a wall. So everything's kind of dark colors. And right now, the, the sun is starting to go behind trees and less lighting in my room. And I lowered the shades so it's not so fucking bright up in this bitch. I don't know if there's a purpose to try to go out there to that barge, but I'm not going to bother right now. It's 
Speaking of sheets, my sheets are too small, man. Because they're... My bed's a queen-size bed, right? And I got queen-size sheets originally. But I also got this memory foam pad thing, you know? And the memory foam pad thing's like fucking couple inches thick. And it basically makes all of my sheets not fit properly. So I bought these fucking other sheets that are supposed to be like deep fitted pocket sheets. And those motherfuckers don't even fit properly anyways. They kind of fit, but not with the fucking memory foam on there. So I'm like, Ugh. it's starting to get annoying. And I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to get another fucking thing of sheets. I'm just going to get some king size sheets or something that are just way too big. That way they'll at least fucking go around the damn bed, you know? kind of annoying memory foam oh it's comfortable as fuck you sink right the fuck in there if you like to sink right into your bed memory foam for the win I'm almost to where the crash thing is at Colville Bay I should have came over here earlier I didn't really notice there was a big ass lake over here though or if I did, I didn't really, like, register it as something I wanted to go check out. But let's keep clearing it out. I'm glad we have a homie, man. Having a homie is very helpful. He's helping me clear out enemies like nothing. Come at me, bugs. Damn it, he hit me with poison right away. That's annoying. Ah. Damn, Arcade got wrecked, dude. Alright, hold up. I'm gonna eat one of these. I'm gonna pop a poison thing. Poison is removed. My boy got knocked the fuck out, but he alright. He'll be fine. Mm -hmm. He'll wake up. Hmm. Yeah, see, he's fine. Yeah, you have a king size sh with king size sheets. It's a massive pain. Always have to fold it extra for a queen bed. I mean, yes, but... I'm thinking with the memory foam thing, it's so much... It'll just be so much better to just have a bigger fucking... Uh, oh! Scare the shit out of me much? Apparently there was a creature in there. Ganon murdered it for me, but we're good. We're good. <laughs> the hell was that? Dude, move out of the way, Ganon. Oh, shit! Apparently there's more. Ah. They're like mutated rats. Jesus. Possums? I don't know. Terrifying. Giant rat. Yep. Terrifying. Woosa. Woosa. <laughs> all right. All woosa. All woosa, shoddy. I'll do it. Scared the bejesus out of me, though. Let's open this safe. No safe is safe. When Funky G is on the case. Ah, uh, rip. Got it. Bottle cap, money, psycho, right away. Not a lot of good stuff, but stuff. I'll take it. But anyway, in Brazil, memory foam pillows are called NASA pillows, huh? Wow, nothing really helpful in there. Um, that sounds pretty epic. I'm pretty sure memory foam stuff was developed by NASA in general. So that's why probably they're called NASA pillows. Or maybe you guys just call them that just because it's like space edge technology shit. I don't even know. I say I said that so haphazardly like I know what the fuck I'm talking about. I don't know shit about memory foam. All I know... Is this very comfortable? And you will sink right the fuck in and never want to get up. Never. Is 
It actually looks like it was developed by NASA. Okay, so it's not too crazy to say it. Well, that's one way to market it too. Like, yo, this is this is a space age pillow. Buy your space pillows now, and they'll work forever because we haven't even really gone to space yet. At least not to live. Well, sort of. But here, have a space age pillow. Your biggest adjustments on having to adjust sleeping next to your wife. It doesn't sound big, but man, it took like two months. Yeah, sleeping next to somebody can be something to get used to for sure. I will concur with that. So used to having your own bed forever, you know? So I can concur with that. Faux show. Fuck this bug. Their glands are worth a lot. I wouldn't be picking them up if they weren't saying 80. Which means I can probably get a solid 50 out of them from some people. You actually had a double for yourself. Now you have a queen for two. Still feels like a single. Yeah. Again, I concur with that. I have a queen, so I know. Two people on a queen makes it feel real small. And also, you're used to sleeping in the middle. Same, dude. Same. Anyway, the sunken thing should be, like, right out here. So... I guess... Who's ready to go swimming? Did that place have a place to sleep back there? I don't think so. I do not use an electric blanket in winter. I do live in California, shoddy. It never gets so cold that I need an electric blanket. Because we don't have snow where I live. There's snow in California, just not where I live. Uh, but yeah. So I never really have that issue. I'm thinking I might swim out there till I get the checkpoint. If there even is one. But yeah. Let me figure out how to use the rebreather also. Do I have to just equip it? Is it a equipable item? Water breathing added. Okay. Should we tell dude to stay here? Because if he goes with us, he might... I mean... Okay. I don't know if he'll actually go underwater with us. No snow there either, but below 10 Celsius. And Shadi needs heating systems. Well, I mean, if I didn't have a heater or if my house wasn't warm enough, then maybe I would probably use a heated blanket to sleep. But I, I run warm, dude. I'm a big boy. So I don't really need a heater most of the time. If I have a blanket, I'm usually good. I'm just going to pop some stim packs. All right, fuck this. Save it, and we're going in, y'all. Who's ready? I meant to save it a while ago. I keep forgetting. We're going in, y'all. I'm kind of scared. I'm not going to lie. It is a lake. So I can't imagine there being anything too crazy down here, but we'll see. Where do I have to attach these things? Subnautica, part three. I know, right? It's a little bit terrifying, I'm not going to lie. I'm not sure where the fuck it wants me to attach these things, though. Does it matter which spots? Usually stays about 10 degrees Celsius over there. Decent blanket does the job. Yeah, exactly. That's pretty much all I need, man. I don't know where I'm supposed to attach this ballast things. And yes, I know Subnautica Below Zero came out. At some point, I figure one of y'all bitches are going to buy it for me. And if not, then I'll get around to it when I, if and when I feel like it. That's pretty much why I haven't even thought about playing it yet. Anyway, I found the spots right under the wings. Attach the ballast. Now return to the shore. Near the tow winch. I guess that's over here. That where is that? 
Oh, it's like over there. Okay. I don't know if I want to swim all the way over there, but I guess I can. God, I hate swimming first person underwater. It's fucking terrifying. If this was an ocean, I'd be way more scared. A lake is like, okay, it's a lake. Unless fucking Nessie's there, we're okay. All right, this is the wench right here. Uh, what? What? Oh. That's the detonator to do the thing. Scared the shit out of me, dude. Am I supposed to actually use it, though? Like, I'm, like, I'm about to blow myself up right now? Like, I don't want to blow myself up. I don't know if I'm supposed to, like... Using your giveaway money, you might just be sitting on it for a long while. That's true, Shadi. You did win, and you still haven't told me what you want for your giveaway. This is true. I didn't really think about that. But there is a Steam Summer Sale coming out, I guess. You can let me know what you want to do. Do... How do I activate the thing? I gotta understand. Like, it's beeping, but then, like, is it a weapon? Oh, it is. Never mind. Hey! Look at that shit. Look at that, look at that shit. Alright. We did it. I guess we just gotta go back to Loyal and be like, yo, we did it. And I'm actually waiting for that Summer Sale, DJ, because... Well, first of all, I do have a game that I've been, you know, that I've been needing, that I'm supposed to do a Let's Play of soon, right? It's called Black Mesa, if you haven't heard of it. I, I actually haven't bought it yet, and part of me is hoping that it'll go on sale during the summer sale, so I can just buy it then. Another reason why I'm not starting that tomorrow, but I kind of want to focus on this game. I, I did tell you guys I was going to focus on one game at a time more often, so right now I'm going to focus on this game, I think, for the next week or so. We still will do stuff over the weekend differently, obviously. We got a Fortune Cookie Friday coming up. Saturday will be whatever it's going to be. Sunday, same, you know. We'll see. Really? So we may It's going to be a dream come true once you've raised that bomber from Lake Mead. Consider your dreams confirmed. That's tremendous. I'll transmit instructions to the robots to start packing up the plane to bring it back to Nellis. Robots? I just told you, the robots are going to handle it. They'll break the plane down into pieces and move it up from Colville Bay in one shot. Well, all right. Damn it, I don't have enough intelligence. Okay, I'm glad I helped. Hey, I better get rolling. Jack and I have I'm a so lot dumb. of work ahead of us. Okay. What now? Isn't that bomber a beaut- So, I did that. Now what? Do I go tell Pearl? I mean, the quest is still a thing. I guess I'll just go talk to Pearl. I'm just going to follow the marker. And yeah, man, I don't know when the hell GPUs are going to go back to normal pricing. I mean, they are normal priced, but they're all sold out, and all you can do is get a secondhand one that somebody's selling for double the price. Eventually, GPUs will go back down to normal, but it might be another year, man, unfortunately. Hello, friend. How can Mother Pearl be of help today? Spoken to Loyal. What you have done for us is a miracle, child. I you am a miracle. You the only dreams we ever had outside our walls. You are a trusted friend of us all. If there is ever a way for us to help you, child, tell me, and I will make it so. All right. We've officially made these bitches our bitches. All right. Um, I'm looking for a howitzer firing mechanism. I'm really not looking for that, but I am going to ask her about the battle at the dam. Of course, my child. After all that you have done for us, we would love to help you in the upcoming battle. After all the training and virtual reality, the young ones would relish an opportunity to put their skills to battle. We'll be there when you need us. All right. The boomers are now on our side. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and ask her about the Help. part anyways, even though I'm probably not going to do this quest, but let's at least get it in the thing just in case. You may find one in the workshop. 
You're a friend to the tribe, so I trust it will not find its way into the wrong hands. All right. Cool. So they have one in the workshop. I could go get it. I'm not going to give it to the Legion. Fuck that. What a lovely time to be content with budget gaming. Rocking that super modern GTX 7050 Ti. I actually don't even know how old that is, DJ. You could, you say that like it's a joke, and I'm like, I don't even know how old that one actually is. It sounds like an older one just based on the numbers, but I couldn't tell you how old. All right, so we finished some quests, y'all. I'm happy about that. I would say we got moving on the main story stuff a bit. We also finished the boomers that make us on our side. Uh, wait. Return to Ambassador Crocker? Who's Ambassador Crocker? I don't even remember anybody named Ambassador Crocker. Hello? Is somebody back in Vegas? Wait, who the fuck? Who? I don't even know who the fuck... Who the fuck's Ambassador Crocker? Betty Crocker? Yeah, I don't, like, I don't fucking know. Who the fuck are we talking about here? Anyway, that G GPU is 2014. Okay. Well, more power to you, sir. <laughs> if that's budget gaming, what do we call a one, one gigabyte GPU third gen i3? We call it old, DJ. Or er, for shoddy. We call it old. But hey, man. We're all a victim of shortcomings. Eventually, you'll be able to make a really cool computer again and play some video games on it. It will happen. It just might take some time. Have faith. Because you gotta have faith. 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 Who the fuck is Ambassador Crocker? And what the hell kind of greenhouse is this shit? I've never even been over here. Also, what's up, Chan? Oh, Channel TV. Oh, Channel TV. How you doing? Welcome to stream. Just know that's how I'm going to pronounce it forever. Ooh, Channel TV. Who the fuck's Ambassador Crocker? I don't remember anybody named that. Also, is my homie still following me? Oh, I told him to wait at the lake. Shit. I told him to wait at the lake for me, man. Oh. I'm going to go back and get my homie. Yeah, see, he's way the hell over here. I'm going to let me go get him real quick. <laughs> I fucking left him over here, dude. Also, apparently this counted as a new area, even though I've already been near here. Weird. All right, let me go get my boy, and then I'll teleport back. Apparently, he's. I have to go inside a free side, I think, so that's where I got to go. Anyway, what's the longest save file I have? I don't know, man. I've only been playing this game for 30, 40 hours. Not even 30 hours yet, probably. And eh, maybe 30 hours. I guess I could just check my save file. 20 hours, not even 30. Yeah, see? So that's my longest save. Uh, this is my first ever playthrough of the game, so... Yeah. But welcome to stream, Ooh Channel TV. And welcome to stream, Maggie the Weeb. How are you on this day? One of these days, I'll play one of these games like this where I will be a fucking murderer from the very beginning. I don't usually do it on the first playthrough, though. Anyway. Follow me. But yeah, you, if it's a blind playthrough, ooh, Channel TV, I would prefer if you didn't give me little hints and tips and tricks unless I ask for them. That one, not as big of a deal, I guess, because it's just some rat away. It's just a helpful item that can heal me a little bit. I get what you're trying to do to help me out, but uh, I'd rather you didn't give me tips and tricks and directions unless I asked for them, but thank you for the 
for your suggestion. Anyway, you're doing good there, Maggie. You just got the remnant power armor. That sounds pretty sweet. Move along. I forget which power armor I'm wearing. I am still wearing power armor. I am. I know I'm wearing it though. Uh, let's see which con when it's called. The Van Graaff Combat Armor. That's what I'm wearing. The strip's not a bad place if you love terrible things and people. Yeah, whatever, homie. Just follow me. Look at all these NCR bitches cheering on the fucking whores. It's hard to sleep in this place, I tell you. Last night, some girl was... So wait, how much sneak do I have now? Do I have 50 sneak now? Uh, I do not have 40. Pretty sure I needed 50 to keep my weapons when I went inside of the casinos. <sighs> Wait, who am I talking to? I'm so confused. Ambassador who? Oh, he's the dude at the NCR or whatever. That's who that is. I was like, who the fuck is Ambassador who? Remember no goddamn Betty Crocker? I don't even remember where this fucker sits. back here there he is you it's good to have a friend of the NCR here what can I do for you I want to talk about the boomers I hope you've returned with good news are they willing to help the NCR well they're willing to help me excellent work I can't tell you how useful that will be in any event I have another assignment ready and waiting for you but we can speak of it later rest up and when you're ready speak to me again I mean I'm rested it's good to have a friend of the end. What you got? So I did. As you may have noticed, our position here in New Vegas is tenuous. We've made great strides, sure, but the NCR is not welcome here. Merely tolerated. And even then, not by everyone. We've had reports of violence against NCR citizens in a neighborhood just to the northeast called Freeside. Ever been there? Uh, yeah. What of it? Violence is something of a way of life there but there's been a disturbing rise in the number of attacks on our people lately. More worrying is the fact that our sources suggest the violence is being perpetrated by the gang that runs the place. Ooh, the kings. the kings. I need someone to look into this that won't attract attention. Would you be interested? I mean, the king already loves me anyways. Good. Uh -huh. Our men have come up with two different plans for seeing an end to the violence. First, our sources have tracked most of the attacks back to a king named Pacer. The consensus is that the violence will stop if he's removed. The problem is we can't simply kill him. In the current climate, the NCR would likely be blamed for his death. There is an alternative option, but my sources feel that getting rid of this Pacer fellow is our best shot. What do you want me to do then? Make it look like an accident, or pin the deed on someone else. Look into this guy's affairs, and I'm sure you'll find something you can use. Heard that there's bad blood between Pacer and the Van Graaff. I mean, if that's true, let's use it. See? That's exactly the type of information we can use. In fact, that's perfect. Those fancy weapons the Van Graaff's pedal aren't exactly common. It goes on the Van Graaff's to do the deed would be the ideal solution. However, if Pacer were killed with either a laser or a plasma-based weapon, everyone would automatically assume the Van Graaff's did it. Still, unless you want several dozen armed men at your throat, you'd have to kill them without being seen. Be careful. I'll leave the method up to you. However, there is an alternative if you'd rather try to handle things without bloodshed. In that case, we could take a different tact. But one that I at least have more experience with. Diplomacy. If we can't go after the man responsible, we'll simply appeal to the man. I already did this. The kings, including our friend Pacer, report to the leader of their gang. A man who calls himself the king. By the way, before I continue this conversation, thank you for the follow. Ooh, Channel TV. Appreciate it. Uh, Anti-material rifle you think is designed after a French 50 cal sniper rifle. That's good to know. Thanks for the t uh, the uh, the knowledge. 
the knowledge. I guess that's the word. Anyway, tell me more about this king. He's Caucasian in his mid thirties and extremely charismatic. It's that trivia. Last part we're counting. Thank on. you, DJ. The kings are a bunch of young hoodlums. Who also, welcome back, Morrow. Anyone except him. Get him on your side, and the rest will fall in line. What do I need to do? Go and talk to the king. Try to convince him to put an end to this violence. Pacer's a punk, but he won't likely disobey a direct order. The king might not be open to the idea at first, so you may have to integrate yourself with him. I already technically did takes. this, and he said ingratiate, done, one way or the but other, not. Report back here, and we'll take it from there. Anyway, guess I'll have to go talk with the king then. I wish you luck. If you run into some difficulty and think you'd rather just take the shot with Pacer, that's fine too. Okay. So I technically already did this. Ah, uh, hello. Never mind. I have a quest called King's Gambit. But the thing is, I already... Like, the king already likes me. We already did stuff for him. Optionals to kill Pacer. That implicates the Van Graffs. So, we just have to get rid of Pacer. Let's go talk to King. The King already likes us. We've already ingratiated ourselves with him. Maybe we could just go talk to him and be done with this quest real fast. Let's go see. But anyway, the Fallout is going going fine, Morrow. Um, are you done streaming already? I was told you were streaming, and I saw your notification go up. So, I'm, I was just assuming you were going to stream for a while. But did you already finish whatever you were doing? Let's go ahead and head over to the Kang. Ah, you finished the Ada thing already. Oh, okay. That's right. You said you were going to do the Resident Evil 4 Ada, like DLC or whatever. So it only took you, what, like an hour? A little bit over an hour? Because I've only been going for an hour and 50, so like an hour and a half maybe it took you. Ah, your voice was echoing with the new capture card. Uh, I'm sure it's something simple. You just need to figure out what it is. Sounds like the NCR and the Legion are both gearing up for a fight. We've been seeing a lot. All right, where's that Kang at? Yo, King, we done did this. Wow, Pacer's sitting right next to him too. Things have been a lot better since you helped with those soldier boys. Thanks again. So, what can I do for you? What can I do you for? Uh, this building is interesting. Uh, have I not talked about this guy much? Or talked to this guy much? What about him? Is there anything wrong with him? He's been acting peculiar for some time now. I took him to the followers and had him checked out. And they said his brain is bad or something. He's got a bad brain. Can, I, can they do anything? No. They said they don't have the tools to help him. Is he going to be okay? For now. But they said eventually... He's going to get worse. I don't know what to do. Can I help? I don't know. Maybe. If you found a way to help my poor Rex here, I'd be much obliged. Uh -huh. Your best bet will be to talk to Julie Farkas over at the old Mormon fort north of here. Maybe you'll have better luck than I did. Uh, This building's interesting. What do you know about it? Also, wait, what is that, Shadi? Ain't nothing but a hound dog. Gonna fix the shit all the time. Wow, that's funny that the quest is called Ain't Nothing But a Hound Dog and you're doing it for the fucking King Elvis over here. Um, what kind of capture card do I recommend for starting? Well, I personally have an Elgato. Those are going to be pretty expensive nowadays, unfortunately. Uh, but definitely the Elgato is what I would go with if I could afford it. Um, and if I can't afford it, then you would go with something like the Aver Media or something in, uh, along those lines. Um... Those ones will run you about a hundred and something bucks too, unless you get the cheaper one. Uh, but I will say, um, most capture cards will at least work for you to start from. As long as they can handle an HDMI, you're good to go. Um, unless you're not trying to do HDMI and you're trying to do old stuff, and then in which case we have to talk about it, because I have an old Elgato that still lets me play old stuff on it, like stuff that requires the red, yellow, and white cables. Um, those are not easy to come by anymore, so you'll have to probably try something else. But yeah. Anywho, I guess we'll talk about this building real quick. Near as I can tell, some sort of religious institution. Oh, I know it says school out front, 
But everything in here seems to be related to the worship of some guy from back in the day. Some guy. People used to come here to learn about him, to dress like him, move like him, to be him. If that's not worship, I don't know what is. Dude, you you act like him, you fucking dumbass. Tell me more about him. Not a whole lot to tell. There were only a few books left in here when we found it, and those were rotted away. There were some posters left that were pretty well preserved, which is how we know all this stuff was based on the same guy. The thing of it is, we don't even know what his name was. All the posters just referred to him as the king. The king, huh? Well, that and the giant sign outside. This place could have been the king's house of dog chow, and I still would have taken the name. But I like to think I keep the memory alive. I mean, you're trying to do an Elvis impression, so yeah. Anyway, if this is a school, what was down here? As far as we can tell, the guy that built this place was considered the coolest of the cool and taught other people how to be more like him. People would come all around to learn how to sing, dance, dress, and even speak the way he did. <laughs> is that what you guys do? Something like that, yeah. There were some working tapes here when we first got here, so we know what he sounded like. Sadly, they stopped working a few years back, so I sold them to a junk merchant who was passing through. Otherwise, I'd play some for you. All the outfits you see my guys wearing around were originally found in here, too. Along with more hair gel than you can shake a stick at. <laughs> uh, let's just do this violence thing. Whoa, that's a doozy. Truth be told, I don't even know if I can pull something like that off. All I'm asking for you to try. I'll give it my best. You've earned that much. But that makes us even, you hear? All right. Is that it? Okay. See, I didn't have to do anything. I already helped the king enough to where he's like, all right, cool, I'll do that. Didn't even have to do shit. I did get another quest out of him to help his dog if I want, so that's nice. But hell yeah, all right. I figured that was going to be an easy one. And maybe this will give me an easy level up too. That'd be nice. I guess there's no reason to teleport. I have to walk. No reason to teleport. No reason to teleport. 